Hi guys, Tony back again. Or in Todge. Afternoon, really windy here. Saturday afternoon. Got a few pickups again, obviously. I'll show you what I've got. Not too many, a few though. It's cost me quite a bit, so I'll show you what I've got anyway. I've got a few coming from Arrow and that this week as well, I think. So the first one I got was this, um, the Blood Island collection. Saw this a few months back on Severn. Missed out on it. And someone posted it on, it's all sealed, look, it's off Amazon. Someone posted it on, that's the back of it, guys. Someone posted it on Facebook that it was back in stock. So I got it for 49 quid, which is quite good, I think, because I think it's expensive. That's the box. It's thin. It's a thin box, so it's not like good quality like Arrow. It's just a thin box, no booklet, no nothing really. But the films are meant to be quite good. So look forward to watching those. Bit of cheesy, what is it, seventies stuff, I suppose. Be quite cool to watch. So yeah, that's the first one. Blood Island Collection. Second one's just come this morning. From Severn again. Invasion of the uh, the Blood Farmers. Looks a real cool ride again. 70s I think. Um, real cult. Cult film this one by the looks of it. And um, I got this one off Amazon too. And I think with the import tax. I think it was like 20 quid. I got another one as well to show you. Where I imported from America. So that's that one, all sealed. And I imported this one from America, Suspiria, with a slip. This worked out to about 20 quid. It was like 40 quid for those two. But um, if you look here, it hasn't been done in the packaging, but it's like there's been a bloody motorbike accident. It's like took that out and took the corner of the case, like not, not smashed it, just like scraped. So, I could probably send it back and get another one, but can't be bothered. Ruins the case a bit, but haven't seen this one. I just watched the um, old Suspiria again yesterday because I haven't seen it in such a long time. But I know this is um, nothing like the old one. It's a spin on it. But I'm looking forward to uh, giving it a watch. Can't get it in England yet. Well, I can't anyway. I don't know if anyone else can. Dakota Johnson. So yeah, look forward to watching that. That's that one. So that's forty quid for those two imported. Then I got this one. These two off a guy off Facebook who was selling some stuff, selling loads of steel books. He was selling a whole collection of Arrow steel books really, but I didn't have the money for them all. But so I got Porkies, and the steel books are mint. He's packaged them really well. Loads of uh, bubble wrap. Uh, Porkers. A J card there. Which is a wicked film. I haven't watched it in a long time. But I might watch that tonight. It's, um, oh, if I don't go and see Captain Marvel. Might go and see Captain Marvel yet. But Porkers is a cool film. Steel book. And Day of the Dead. Steel book. Which is a cool steel book. Back of it look. Missing Mint as well. I got the two of these delivered and he gave me them for 45 quid. Which we didn't think was bad because I know Day of the Dead's quite expensive on um, eBay and stuff, isn't it? And pork is, is probably about, you know, about 25 quid on there. So yeah, pleased with those two. Two more to add to my Arrow collection. Another one I got, 15 quid. Vampires, got this off Zave. John Carpenter's Vampires, which I can't, I think I've seen this, and if I remember right, it's a good film, but uh, the um, Indicator do an awesome, do awesome stuff, don't they, they really do, so look forward to watching that one at some point, 108 minutes long, you get some um, bits and bobs in there, look, what you can look through. But, yeah, the indicator stuff's really good. Look at that. It's really powerhouse, isn't it, company? Really hefty, heavy as well. It's probably got a booklet and stuff in it. So, yeah, that's Vampires. Look forward to seeing that one again. This one, 
another cult film, Toy Soldiers. I was actually just thinking through, uh, what was it, eBay, and uh, this came up, I thought, Toy Soldiers. And I, for some reason, I couldn't remember, and it brought back my youth. I was about ten, nine or ten year old around my cousin's house, and he had this on it. It flashed back for toy soldiers. I, I couldn't, I couldn't remember it. And for oh yeah, they're in a school and they're like terrorists, sort of trap them all in, my like bombs and stuff. For I've got to get that four quid off eBay delivered. It's an hundred and one films one, and I've looked on hundred and one films website, and it is on there. And I've just skip past it for some reason but it just you know how you thinking what was that film you see something you think what have I seen that and it just sort of flashes back from your youth and that was Toy Soldiers I thought I've got to give that a go again I bet it's quite cool still because I remember it being cool the 101 films do a good job as well I like the cases and stuff and my last one I picked up this week guys is Season 1 to 4 of Vikings. I've watched season 1. And I think I started watching season 2. But I never got round to it. For some reason. You know how it is. And you get all the seasons in there. There's like 15 discs. Look, 49 episodes in these four. I think season 5 is out as well now. Um, So me and my wife are going to watch this. She's not a horror fan. Unfortunately. But. She likes the Vikings, remember? So we're going to probably be in bed every night watching episodes or so. Try and get caught up. But real brutal. It's good. The first season was anyway. And people say it's, it gets better as well. So see what this was like. And I got this off a guy off the uh, um, cult DVDs for sale. I know it's not cult, but um, and Blu-rays on this page on facebook and he i got it for 22 quid delivered and i looked in like um i've looked in hmv before and i was going to pick it up it's like 50 60 quid i was like oh. and i couldn't bother to get it on normal dvd because i'm getting um hopefully getting um an oled 4k lg tv soon the um what is it B6 or something, whatever it's called. And I don't know if to go for 65 inch, which is 2,000 quid, or I think I might just go with a 55. I think it's 1,299, but I think it's 200 quid off it at the minute, or 100 quid. So I might get that one and uh, really get me a 4Ks going, because I haven't got many 4 I think the only 4K I've got is the new Halloween in the Steelbook. And I've got like 4K from 4k scans and stuff so i suppose they'll still look good on it but uh let me know what tellies you think guys like i said i don't really want to be i don't really want to spend two thousand quid probably 12 1300 pounds at the most so if you guys have got any recommendations for me on tvs uh let me know but i know the oled however you say oled i don't know how you say it. i'm not very technical uh people have said are the best quality ones but I don't know, some people prefer Samson and that, don't they? But I suppose it's preference. But anyway, guys, that's my Saturday show off. Try and get a movie review in at some point. I don't know when. I know they're not, they're not the best, like, stuttering and that. But see what I can do. So the Vikings, Toy Soldiers, um, Vampires, Porkies, Day of the Dead, Suspiria, new one. Was it Attack of the Blood Farmers and Blood Island Trilogy? And Papa, there's my little dog again. What are you doing? Are you with me? Sitting with me, aren't you? Let's have a look at you. Hey, look at the camera. So that's her. Uh, yeah, so some good pickups this week. <sighs> Cost me a bit. I'm spending some money at the minute. I'm going to have to slow down soon. Get my shelving sorted. Just haven't got round to it, but... Hope you guys have a good weekend and Saturday evening. I'll catch you a lot later. Over and out.